Welcome back to My Tiny Kitchen. Watch this step-by-step -step video and learn how to impress your Christmas dinner guests with the snow globe bauble dessert that has a deer in the forest scenery. Start by freezing 6 tablespoons of Biscoff spread. These are the ingredients you would need for the spice sponge. Remember, the recipe is in the description. Start by adding the brown sugar followed by the soft butter into a small mixing bowl. And then whisk until light and fluffy. Then mix in one egg. Don't be alarmed if the mix looks like it's separating. Because it is such a small amount, it will come together. Then add in the self-raising flour followed by the cinnamon powder and mix until well distributed. Spoon out and spread onto a baking paper lined baking tin. Then bake in a preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 5 to 8 minutes. Avoid over baking as the sponge could end up dry and brittle. Once the sponge is cool, cut with a 7cm cutter and keep aside for later. These are the ingredients for the white chocolate mousse. Remember the recipes in the description. Start by adding a third of the double cream to a small saucepan. Bring to the boil and then remove from the heat. Then add in the white chocolate, cover with the boiled cream and leave aside for a minute before mixing until smooth. Add the balance of the double cream to a medium mixing bowl followed by vanilla bean paste. Then whisk together until soft peaks form. Once the cream is ready, fold in the white chocolate mixture. The mousse is ready when you no longer have streaks of whipped cream or white chocolate. Pipe in the white chocolate mousse into a hemisphere mold. and then place in the frozen Biscoff. Cover these with the spiced sponge and then place in the freezer for about two hours or until solid. Melt about 50 grams of white chocolate for piping out the deer and trees. For the deer template, take a screenshot of the template, increase your phone brightness, then trace and color in the deer. Place the template under baking paper, then pipe out the outline of the deer and fill with melted white chocolate. I would suggest piping out a few extra because firstly you could break some and secondly I noticed that I got better with piping. Then pipe out some trees. Avoid exceeding 3 cm in height as this could get smashed under the glass bauble dome. Melt about 70 grams of white chocolate for the hanger and hooks and a collar used to finish off the bauble. For the hanger part, roll up a piece of baking paper until you have about a 1 cm hole. Then stick with sticky tape. Fill the tube with melted white chocolate and pipe out the hanging strings. Reserve any unused white chocolate for use later. 
when the chocolate tube is almost set, unroll and cut 1 cm slices. Dip the hanger string in a bit of melted chocolate and stick it onto the base. These are the ingredients for the whipped vanilla cream. Remember the recipes in the description. Simply whisk all of the ingredients together until stiff peaks form. These are the ingredients for the chocolate ganache. Simply bring the double cream to the boil, then remove from heat. Add the chocolate, cover, leave to stand for a minute, and then mix until smooth. Unmold the frozen white chocolate mousse domes. Then cut out any mousse that is protruding from the sides. Carefully insert a bamboo skewer and dip in the chocolate ganache. Keep in the refrigerator until needed. For the glass bauble, lightly oil a 7cm dome mould and an 8cm round cutter. Place the mould on a large piece of baking paper, then angle it with a roasting tray on one side and a flat tray on the other to collect the excess isomalt sugar. In a medium saucepan, bring the water and isomalt to 165 degrees Celsius. You can use sugar, I find using isomalt a bit more stable to work with. Once the mixture has reached 165 degrees Celsius, remove from heat and cool to 140 degrees Celsius before using. And then pour over the molds using a circular motion. Quick side note, I found gentle heating and cooling and lack of mixing of the isomalt sugar resulted in fewer air pockets. And leave the molds to drain off the excess isomalt sugar. When the isomalt sugar has slightly cooled but is still soft, cut using the oiled 8cm cutter at the base. And then carefully remove the domes once completely cooled. Although making the bubbles this way has a few air bubbles, I do find it more consistent and easier to make, and it adds to the snow globe effect. This is the second way of making the glass baubles. While not many air bubbles and much thinner, you do need a specific type of cling film and be very careful as the ring gets really hot. I was far more successful with the pouring method as opposed to this method. To assemble the dessert, rustically pipe out the whipped vanilla cream. Then place on the white chocolate deer, trees and a few silver balls. Sprinkle with desiccated coconut to add to the snow effect. Place on the glass bauble. Then spread chocolate on a 1 cm strip of baking paper and stick to the side of the bauble. Finish off this beautiful creation by dipping the hanger into some melted chocolate and sticking it on. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.